the whole reason why I wanted to play a Silent Hill game, well, for the last couple of, I'd say for the last month or two, but last month, I've been playing all the Silent Hill games, except for this one, the first one, because I, what happened was, I was bored of playing really boring, monotonous games, you know, just button mashes where you just run around and, you know, just kill time, basically. I wanted something with emotional depth to it, so... I remember seeing the Silent Hill HD collection in store, and I thought, you know, I'd like to play that again, but for some reason, I don't know how I came across it, but I found that, um, uh, there was like this really good review by Twin Perfect, and it's like a two hour review on how bad the HD collection is, like they go into, they just rip it apart, and it just made me so curious to see what the difference was between the two, and then looking at their enthusiasm and passion for like the Silent Hill franchise I just I really wanted to play it myself because it really did sound like something I'd really like to play and I remember playing the first one and the third one when I was young but I didn't get very far because I was back that was back when I was in the Resident Evil stage you know a game like Silent Hill was too serious for me back then like, it, like, I don't know, maybe it scared me, I hope it did. But, yeah, I just don't remember ever actually finishing any of these games. You know, I don't know, it's very nostalgic to go back and play the games that I remember playing, but couldn't finish. So, that's where we are now, Silent Hill 1. Well, well, actually, I finished, I started with 2, and then finished uh, 2, 3, 4, then Homecoming. And my god. <laughs> I've played, like, I thought 4 was bad, I, I just, I, I couldn't stand 4, but then I played Homecoming, now that's a shit game, that is a terrible fucking game, you do not want to play that game, same with Downpour, like the whole, in Downpour you spend 80% of the game getting to Silent Hill, and once you're there, they, it's just ridiculous, they just make sure, and th they take your gun away, like, through the whole game, you, you, you're playing Silent Hill like a Silent Hill game. You pick you pick up the gun and you never use it until you absolutely have to. But in that game, for some reason, they just take it away from you. Like they, they, with no, they don't give you any um, hint that you know you better use this or we'll take it away from you. You just, you go. It just loads. Like you'll be playing the game. It'll stop. It'll load. You're in another bloody part of the world. How'd you get there? Who knows? And then you've, you're missing all your weapons. So you can run around picking up these stupid breakable weapons. Ah. Look, the game's shit. Just don't play it. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to start actual Silent Hill 1. Um, I don't really, like... Because I've played 2, 3, 4 and the other shitty games, I know the... the general... storylines of Silent Hill, I guess. But I... I haven't really played it. So this will be the first time I've played Silent Hill 1. Or, you know, played it all the way through anyway, in one scene. So this will be interesting. Okay, let's go again. Pull your neck. <laughs> that car's fucked. The new Jeep Wrangler, five star rating. Oh, well, that's right, Cheryl. Cheryl? 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 <laughs> okay, I know that the first thing I do is go to the diner, apparently. And that is not the diner. Hey! <laughs> what was that? Hey, we've got moves! Look at this! <laughs> what else can he do? Wait. 
here, that'll help. Freaking rabid dogs. Yep, just step to the side. Anyway, where am I going? Just run forward, hopefully. There we go. Footsteps in a town? Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Cheryl? Yeah, don't say anything, just let her run away. Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! <laughs> hey, little girl, where are you going? Stop! I'm coming to get you, Barbara! Holy shit, how big is this road? Like, considering how big the car, that's what the car looks like. And you got all this road. Freaking hell. Alright, let's get on with this game. This guy has some balls. This is freaky as hell. Beware of the dog. <laughs> dog the bounty hunter! <coughs> oh shit, somebody messed with the dog. Mess with the dog, bruh. See, this is what I remember about the first Silent Hill. The camera angles are so good. Where the hell is this kid? Yeah, that's supposed to happen. It's called night time. Man, when I remember when I was a kid, I used to run down the hallway of my house when it was night time because I was scared something was going to jump out of the doorway. Now you got this little kid running down alleyways in pitch black dark in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I know it. That's from, um... Well, it's not from, but it's referenced in Silent Hill 3. When, uh, you go downstairs and you get the submachine gun. Yeah, see, I know my Silent Hill stuff. Good uh, hospital system in Silent Hill. This guy came in with a broken ankle. Blood? I hope this is not Chris's blood. this? What's going on here? What? What has happened to you? Oh, whoa, what am I doing? Get off me, you stupid things. Oh my, what? Get off me! Oh, that's sick. Hello. She's happy to see me. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. <laughs> but I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. 
You from around she wants here? my dick. Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. <laughs> Hang on, stop with the questions, alright? I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Have you seen a little girl? Cheryl? Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. She had just turned My seven. Daughter. That'll help you identify her. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry, couldn't give a shit. <laughs> the only person I've seen in this town is you. And a girl who just turned four years old. I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. Nah. That's all I know. Well, you're a great help. Thanks for that. Hmm. <laughs> What's your name? Cheryl. Harry. That was close. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. <laughs> Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. <laughs> you leave that little girl by herself with those monsters. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. It's America. Take this and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're Sybil's shooting. Sybil's got some thick-ass thighs. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Alright. We can move again. Oh, and we can save as well. Alright. We should have busted out these moves in front of Sybil. <laughs> Just stand there and do the nut push in front of his face. The nut push! Nut push! Alright. Health drink? Good old ugly looking flashlight and a nut. And we'll save. Ah, okay. Casino Silent Hill 3. Um, Heather keeps finding all these notes by a dead left everywhere. And I never really understood the reference. Like, why would he write these little notepads in the middle of nowhere and just... But, yeah, I guess they're all save points. Jeez, this is a good game. And this is as good a time as any to finish the first part, and we'll be back with the second part. <laughs>